Now, it was an emotional day as Lobo baseball players took to the field for the first time since Weller's death one week ago. From tailgating before the game to praying together on the field, News 13's Allison Martinez shows us how the 23-year-old was honored today. Lobo fans and players, parents, even graduates. We all need each other right now. I think the community, the, the baseball community, especially the Lobo team, we all need the, each other's support because it's been a really long, hard week. Dozens of people showed up to Santa Ana Star Field today to honor murdered baseball player Jackson Weller. When tragedy strikes, you want basically everybody uh, to, uh, you know, to step up to help out. I mean, that's what it's all about. People from all over came out in support, including those who never met the 23 year old. One woman said she needed to show up after witnessing the deadly encounter. I was there when it happened, so um, I was maybe like 20 feet away from it, so just thought I'd just come out and support. Today, more than ever, the saying stood true everyone's a lobo. It's one of these things where it's like we're all family and you have to take care of family. Rex's hamburgers kicked off the afternoon by grilling hundreds of donated patties. <laughs> And nearby, mothers of UNM baseball players handed out t-shirts with Weller's name on the back. That's why we decided as a group that he's going to be a Lobo forever, and that's what, that's why we came up with this. And just before hitting the field, both UNM and UNLV and fans came together. Please join us in a moment of prayer with the team to honor Jackson Weller. Kneeling and holding hands. Our Father. Praying around a memorial wreath and glove, honoring a young athlete taken too soon. Allison Martinez, KRQE News 13. At those events held in Weller's honor today, the community expressed relief that the alleged murderer was arrested. That's a huge plus. We wish it never would have occurred, but we're thankful that at least hopefully justice can be um, served. I was so happy to see that. So. Hopefully he doesn't get out again. News 13 will bring you updates on Bashir's case as it unfolds, including what happens in court tomorrow morning when he is expected to be arraigned. Stick with us on KRQE.com or download the KRQE News app.